What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Minus World. And many of you guys are predicting that the new secret player that's going to be coming for Zero Chill is going to be Gronkowski. Um, you know, as far as the tip that you got from EA Sports, it's like a statue. You, they're saying to bring out the snow shovel, unretire the statue. Whatever the tip was, right? Some of you guys are saying, is he going to make the squad? Now, let's just think about that really, really quickly and try to analyze if he would be able to make my squad or your squad, regardless of your overall, regardless of what's going on, all right? These are the tight ends that I currently have. I got Kittle, I got Delaney Walker, and then TJ Hawkinson is just there because he's my rookie premier and he got a major upgrade or whatever. So, you know, he probably would be, he would probably be replaced. You see what I'm saying? Like, if we were to go with Bronk. Now, I want to point out some major, major things because I don't know if you guys realize how low Gronkowski's blocking was on this card. Yes, he's Gronk. Yes, EA is going to cheat for him, but the dude had a 75 run block. Now, let's just point it out. Delaney Walker, 85. This guy got an 85. I'm, I'm just kind of like making you guys understand exactly what's going on because I'm getting so many people asking. So if you guys think that it's Gronk, maybe I, I've, already, I've already seen like 50 comments like, yo, it's Gronk. It's Gronk, Jima, It's Gronk. All right. So if Gronk is coming Monday, all right, let's just assume that that's the case. Is he good enough to make the squad? The number one thing that you guys need to make sure right now is you probably need to grab his card while it's in the 200s because if for whatever reason it actually happens to be him, that card is going to be like 400, 500 K. For those of you guys, especially you crazed Patriot fans, you guys are going to be going absolutely insane. Plus it's playoff time. You guys are just unbearable at this time, you Patriot fans. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be crazy if that is the scenario that unfolds. All right. Let's look at some of the other things that are going on. Spec catch 90, short rot run 84, medium rot run 81. Obviously, I told you the run block. You can see that his strength has always been a key factor um, with the way that it's worked. You see like how it's 84, he's a much stronger player. We will take a chance. I'm not gonna say that we're not gonna go after him, especially with the fact that everything is just so chaotic because of kindling right now. You could pretty much do whatever you want with this game. I'm just being completely honest. You can pretty much go into a set inside the store and just keep gambling with Kindling until you pull something wild with the 85 plus. Um, I've seen some people pull uh, Sean Taylor out of the 85 plus. You guys are some of the luckiest, uh, you know, whoever you are in the world, like men, women, whatever. You guys are just doing whatever you want. Like I said, my wife was able to pull Sean Taylor. I don't know how she did it. She doesn't know how she did it because she was drunk, but that's not what this is about. What this is about is Rob Gronkowski. Will he make the squad? Now, he is 6'6". As I told you before, and I will continue to tell you guys, height does not matter as much as you guys think when it comes to the passing situations in the game, all right? So now that I've pointed that out to you, right? Depending on where you are, like what you're doing with it, how it's working out, this is what you could do. Theoretically, you can prepare to get Grunk by making sure that number one, let's first, let's see if I have a power up for him before we get started with that whole situation. We need to find out because this is the preparation that you guys are gonna probably have to have right now. It looks like with the way everything is that, you know, ideally we should probably have a power up. So we do. Okay, so we have his power up, that's all set. Now, the next thing is this. How much would they increase his overall ratings for the run block? If they give him an 85 run block, and I want you guys to understand this, right? Keep this in mind. If they give him, you know, 85 run block minimum, He's a W, obviously because, you know, Kelsey is, not not Kelsey, um, who who's the guy that we just finished talking about? Uh, George Kittle, I don't know why I just started thinking about Kelsey. Um, he's going to be able to take care of Kittle's position. Kittle is still gonna be a necessity on the squad because I have a 49er theme team. And a lot of you guys that have theme teams, you guys have to realize and understand when you start interchanging players, that plus one speed, it means something because it's not only that one player. For instance, when you look at the reason that I chose my theme team, I have a lot of players that are affected by any mishap with me taking away one 49er player. Those of you guys that have other theme teams, I'm pretty sure you guys feel the same way. If you start playing around with your lineup based off of one card, you are going to lose a lot of games. I'm just guaranteeing it. So with me, this guy is not a 49er, I'm golden. You see what I'm saying? He's a Detroit Lion, that's fine. Dude's about to just go to the bench and sit there and shut up about it, and we're gonna move forward amicably. You see what I'm saying? Now, we could actually, with the way that everything is going, he's a 90 speed, uh, George Kittle right now with the 49ers chem. I do not expect, um, or maybe they would. Would they give, would they give Grunk 90 speed? I, I don't know. 
Because right now he's at an 83, he goes to 84 with his power up. Would they give him a 90 speed chem? Maybe with the, the New England Patriots? Because that would just make him outrageous. He would be insane. Uh, primarily, they, they, they're they probably going to make him better than Kittle because Kittle is going to end up getting a team of the year card. So that is going to probably offset it once we get the team of the year cards. But if they do release Grunk, now that I'm looking at it in this aspect, guys, he's going to have to be better than Kittle. It would make no sense if EA does not make him better than Kittle. So let's just go off that assumption. Let's just say that Grunk is better than Kittle. It doesn't affect me because Grunk will just be my starter. Kittle will be the backup and Delaney Walker will be the guy right underneath him. Obviously with 49ers chem, so we are all golden there. It don't really matter. The issue is this. These guys are primarily going to be used in run blocking situations. Remember, the key to this game is running the ball. So if they were to give him 85 run block and make him be chem to a 90 speed and increase his strength more, which we all know Grunk is, you know, he is it's a Grunk smash. Like the dude was a pretty strong dude. Now he looks like he hasn't eaten in five years. But when he was playing, you know, that dude was a monster. Listen up though. With everything else that they're adding, we remember we only need him based on his run block and his strength. So if he's fast, whatever, we might be able to, you know, throw a streak to him. If somebody keeps overlooking whatever we're running, depending on the plays that you're running at the time, won't really matter. He's going to be the better player. M maybe 95, 96. I wouldn't use a power up pass on him, though. You know, guys, like I would probably hold off on that. I know that that's going to be a question that's going to be getting asked. Yo, G. Maya, on the tight end, though? No, no. Your 95 overall power up pass would probably be getting used on um, Sean Taylor. As a matter of fact... We probably should see what Sean Taylor is going for now because he's out of packs. Sell him, put the 95 overall power pass on him, and just wait until later and get Randy Moss probably. That probably would be the best thing to do. Let's just see what his price is. If it's like a million coins, we probably would do it later. I don't think it's going to affect his price regardless because Sean Taylor at 97 speed running around like a maniac, it, it's a pretty wild situation that's going on. So I would probably watch that. Um, ideally, I would definitely, uh, you know, watch that if I were you guys. Um, let's see what's going on with him. What is he? I know his power up is very cheap. Obviously, you know, that's the case with that. All right, where's his card at? Where, where, what? What? Yo, they, there are no Sean Taylors. There, there are no Sean Taylors, dog. That means you, bro, right now, you guys can make a quadrillion, bazillion dollars, like, it could get really, really grisly um, because his card is probably the best card. Now, we're not going to make this all about Sean Taylor because we're obviously talking about Grunk, but that I, I'm just letting you guys know that card is insane. And I don't know, like, I guess with the next series, you're going to be able to get him like a series redux. But for now, he's like, what? he's like the best. Like, I love that card. Realistically, I was usering him. I'm probably going to leave him in coverage now. Uh, the more I've been thinking about it, I'm probably going to leave him in coverage and figure out what I'm going to do as far as everybody else on the squad. But I'll let you guys know about that later. But he's just such a universally ridiculous card in the game. And he also gets universal coverage, uh, by the way. So I kind of put that in there to kind of give you guys that idea. But that's what I was saying. I was thinking about doing that. Maybe right now is the best time to do it. But I have to look and see what is his price. Because remember, yesterday his price went down as low as 800 k And I was telling you guys, once he's out of packs... It's a wrap. You know, the dude's the GOAT. Like, everybody wants him. And EA made him the way he was supposed to make him. So the reason that I'm, you know, talking about this power up pass thing is Gronk should be a 95, uh, possibly a 96. I don't know if they'll go that far. But with that being said, if he's a 95, I would not use a power up pass on him. Ideally, if you have not pulled Sean Taylor or, you know, you want to get him out of the car, get him out of the set and sell him, whatever you want to do. I would recommend that you guys do that with the 95 overall, you know, 95 overall power pass instead of using it on a tight end, which I don't think makes any sense at all. But that's probably the whole situation that a lot of you guys are trying to figure out. My O line is stout. Okay, the o, I don't think I've had any issues with my O line blocking over the last um, couple days. You know, usually they start doing whatever they want, but they've been pretty good uh, thus far. So adding Grunk as another blocker, uh, T.J. Hawkinson obviously will sit the bench. We could probably do a couple other adjustments. I know you guys were talking about the new fullback that's out of position and get rid of Christian Okoye. I don't know if that's smart, though. Is that smart? To get Quentin Nelson out of position because he got wild numbers and then just let him just do whatever he wants in the run game? That could be something as well. But, you know, Grunk will definitely be something that, you know, he's, he's going to be a force. 
And like I said, the only way you're gonna really get off with him, like if you're gonna make him be like a dominant part of your offense, you're gonna have to just you know, run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, put him inside like one of the slot tight end positions, like, like inside close. If you're running like eye wing, um, eye form wing or whatever, make him be like the inside tight end and streak him when everybody thinks that you're gonna be running the ball or whatever, he's probably gonna be a glitch that way. But obviously, if the other player gets in any position, it doesn't matter if he's three foot two inches, he's gonna pick you off. And he probably pick your mom up afterwards too. All right, so um, with that being said, now we're gonna check out what Grunk is actually going for at this moment and try to figure out if you guys are on the game because those 92s, man, all right, that power up is up to 13. People are really expecting him. All right, so he's at 223 right now. All right. Remember, if you do not have the power up pass or if you don't know where your power up pass is right now, you are going to lose a lot. All right. If you wait this out, this card, if he's released on Monday, these 92s, at least 400K minimum, minimum. So if you're a Patriot fan or you're thinking about getting him once he released, he's going to be a zero chill card. So those cards, we're just going to wait it out and it's going to pretty much because of everything that goes on with the gambling inside the store is going to eventually go down. We're going to wait it out for the zero chill version of Gronk. If he is released, grab him. You see what I'm saying? Grab him right quick. And then from there, we would figure out everything else after that. But this is a key situation because if you overspend, I don't like it. If I see you guys spending 400 K on a card that is at 223, I am going to rage uncontrollably. Please don't do that. Just please don't do it. So if you're watching this video, just do everything that you possibly can to make sure that you, uh, you know, you actually reserve a grunk. You got one chilling there. I will upgrade it if that's something that you know I feel that is necessary. I will upgrade it. I will absolutely get grunk and get rid of Hawkins and put him on the bench, and then just have a crazy run blocking tight end scheme. You see what I'm saying? And then. When we go into a game, we know that that's an ulterior thing that we can do because Mike Vick is also running around like a maniac right now, and he is putting in major, major work. Just so you guys are aware of that, major, major work. So I would love for you guys to you know take a look at that, kind of analyze what's going on, figure it out. Let me know if you have any additional questions or comments. Let me know if you agree that it is Grunk that's coming Monday and all that good stuff, and will you be getting him? All right, guys? I'm going to talk to you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.